G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. I've got here on the table a couple of little bits and pieces. You know, a little foam sort of mock-up of a tiny, tiny display board, a couple of rings and stuff. And I wanted to find out from you guys, I was chatting with someone at the club last night at the Gaming Club Axes and Ales. If you're in Melbourne, north side near Preston, pop along on Thursday nights to Tallboy Moose, the brewery there. We take over the whole back section of the brewery and play games every Thursday. Uh, about display boards, we often get requests from people to make display board cutouts. And by that I mean they've made some sort of shape out of foam and they want a piece of MDF that sits in here and on the top with their cutouts in it for them to put their figures in. Now that's really complicated to do because A, I don't have the foam, you know, the display board piece to, you know, take my measurements and things from, and they're constantly always different. So I was chatting with someone there about using simple rings. So I've got here some rings in different sizes. It has a four mil lip. And essentially the idea being that you'd take uh, those rings and a little bit of glue, and you'd just apply a little bit of glue to your ring. Let's just do this quickly because I know everyone's busy. And you put it down wherever you want. And you know, I need a smaller ring for some other smaller little character. And you know, I stick that one in there and then, you know, slightly larger ring or the same size or whatever. You get the idea, right? You know, essentially, um, I'm putting my rings down on the board here. Let's put a big one at the top up here. So we just spread some glue around on here. That'll do, you know, it doesn't need to be perfect. And uh, you know, I want a big one up there, etc., etc. And I lay out all my rings on my board. And then I take some wall filler or um, some spackle or you know some sculptor mold or something that you've made yourself or some sort of plaster mix to sculpt in around the edges here to build up so that you, you end up with like a, a flat sort of finish. Then you end up with you know a nicely detailed and textured uh, display board with the slots exactly where you want them to be. So my question to you guys then is would something like that be useful if we put together a whole bunch of these little rings and put them in a packet uh, in different sort of combinations or sizes or whatever does this sound like something that might be useful or am I just totally you know no point in worrying about this anyway that's it for the weekend it's been a wonderful week here at Knights of Dice. I hope you've had a great week. Uh, I've got plenty of things to do on the weekend around my house. Uh, I hope yours is nice and relaxing. I'll catch you next week. See ya.